Hello, and welcome to a brief history of Microsoft, a presentation by Evan. Bill Gates, the future CEO, was born in Seattle, Washington on October 28, 1955. He is the child of William Gates Sr. and Mary Gates. William Gates Sr. was a prominent and successful lawyer in the Seattle area. Mary Gates was on the board of directors for the United Way Foundation and later became its first female president. Bill graduated from the Lakeside School in Seattle in 1973 as a National Merit Scholar. The future co-founder of Microsoft, Paul Allen, was born in Seattle, Washington on January 21, 1953, to parents Kenneth Allen and Edna Fay. His father, Kenneth, worked at the University of Washington as an associate director of the libraries. Paul's mother, Edna, worked at the same school as a clerk of the library on campus. Before her death, Paul donated $22.5 million to Seattle libraries. Bill's college life began in the fall of 1973 after scoring a 1590 out of 1600 on the SAT. Gates made friends with the school's football manager and newspaper writer, Steve Ballmer, who would later become Microsoft CEO in January of 2000. Gates remained in contact with Paul Allen, a high school friend. Paul Allen attended the Lakeside School in Seattle where he met Bill Gates. Allen scored a perfect 1600 on the SAT, besting Gates' 1590. Paul dropped out of Washington State University after two years so he could travel to Boston to work at Honeywell with Gates. After traveling to Boston, Paul Allen eventually convinces Gates to drop out of Harvard. Bill notices a new computer system called the Altair 8800, made by a company called Microinstrumentation and Telemetry Systems, or MITS. Gates then contacts the company to gauge their interest on the possibility of using Gates's and Allen's software. MITS President Ed Roberts agreed to let them work on it. Upon moving to Albuquerque, they opened up their first office and called themselves Microsoft. Paul created the original name, a mix between microprocessor and software. The initial Microsoft office was located in Albuquerque, New Mexico on a single-story brick building. Microsoft became a corporation on November 26, 1976. The company was then moved to Bellevue, Washington on January 1, 1979. MS-DOS was released in August of 1981. It was made specifically for x86 computers, which IBM had the most of at the time. The operating system underwent eight versions when, but before it was finally replaced by Windows in 1985. IBM approached Microsoft in 1980 looking for software to run their upcoming PCs. Bill Gates made a licensing deal with Seattle Computer Products to cr produce a version of their OS called 86-DOS. Microsoft rebranded the OS as PC-DOS and sold it to IBM for $50,000. The software was reproduced and sold to other companies, and this made Gates a billionaire. Windows 1.0 was released in November of 1985. It was a direct competitor to Apple's new operating system. Windows 1.0 was more of an extension of MS-DOS and less of a standalone operating system. This version of Windows did not include the ability to overlap but that would be present in the version 3.0 of the Windows operating system released in 1990. Bill Gates took Microsoft public on Thursday, March 13, 1986. The shares began with a price of $21, and by the end of the day, it had risen to an astonishing $35.50. At this point, Gates owned 45% of the company's stock and proceeded to move the base of operations to its current home of Redmond, Washington. The first version of Microsoft Office was released on November 19, 1990, consisting of three main programs, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and saw the release on the Mac operating system. Soon after release, Apple filed suit with Microsoft claiming the in interference of the Windows programs were too similar on their own. Six years and many core battles later, Microsoft came out as the victor and became the dominant software manufacturer. Microsoft Office included some of the most accessible and widely used programs in the country. In addition to the original three programs, later versions of Office added Outlook, Access, and Publisher. Microsoft Word is the golden standard for creating professional-looking reports and documents. Excel is the number one choice for creating a report of numerical and alphanumerical spreadsheets. PowerPoint is the best way to creatively express yourself through a colorful, entertaining presentation. Beginning in March of 1992, work began on the successor to Windows 3.0, then known as Windows 93. On August 24, 1995, Windows 95 was released in the U.S. During development, the O.S. was referred to as Windows 4.0 and Project Chicago. The 32-bit operating system was fully supported and updated until December 31st of 2000. Internet Explorer was Microsoft's own internet browser, which was released alongside Windows 95. At the time, it owned most of the usage share in 
till 2004 when Mozilla's Firefox was released. Internet Explorer had since been updated to version 11. As of October 2013, Microsoft claims it's still the fastest browser available. The successor of Windows 95 would be released on June 25, 1998, called Windows 98. Codenamed Memphis, this version of Windows most notably contained enhanced support for USB hubs and devices. Windows 98 was succeeded by a second edition released May 5, 1999, and contained upgrades for audio and modem support and a new Internet Explorer. Millennium Edition followed shortly after. Windows XP was released on October 25, 2001 to a popular reception. Codenamed Neptune, while in development, the OS was released in two versions, Home and Professional. XP contained many performance upgrades and enhancements and completely changed its visual UI. Due to its stability and popularity, it remained on systems for many years, even past the release of its predecessor. Released on November 15, 2001, Gates officially sold the first Xbox system himself in New York City. Competitors in the industry included Sony and Nintendo. The console's development began in 1998 by a team from the DirectX branch of Microsoft, and the system was planned to be named the Direct Xbox, but was later shortened. Following mass critical success, the console lived until the year 2008, three years after the release of its big brother, the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 was released on November 22, 2005. The two most prominent features of the console was its built-in hard drive and onboard functionality of Xbox Live, the company's online gaming service. The new console was backward compatible with the original Xbox, and it could also play DVDs. Amazingly, nine years after its release, the console is still receiving new titles at a steady pace. Windows Vista released on January 30, 2007. Codenamed Longhorn during development, the new OS saw another change in the visual style of the software, some of which were critically panned. The OS faced many issues early on, including the new security processes that, that were inherent to the software. Finally, the hardware requirements were too demanding for the time it was released to stick with XP. Microsoft answered two years later with the release of Windows 7 on October 22, 2009. Many features in Windows 7 fixed many issues users had with Vista. The OS was critically acclaimed. The hardware requirements were much easier to stomach. The software saw an amazing 100 million units sold within the first six months of its release. The current operating system is Windows 8, released on October 26, 2012. The response to the software has been mixed. Many users had a harder time operating it than Windows 7. But one thing is for sure, Windows 8 excels at its ability to be used on multiple devices, such as tablets and Windows branded smartphones. Xbox One was released on November 22, 2013. When announced, the console received fan backlash for its harsh requirements. Eventually, Microsoft gave in to the request, and the system is referred to as now a multimedia device, not just a gaming machine. It has since lowered its price since launch to match. Announced on September 30th, 2014, Windows 10 will make its consumer debut in late 2015, with beta programs beginning in the spring. Xbox One will continue to grow with the eventual release of the original Xbox programming streaming directly off of the console. Continual updates to Windows phones and the skyrocketing tablet market ensures Windows will continue to grow on mobile platforms. A new version of Office is set to be released in 2015, just in time for Windows 10 later in the year. Microsoft is not slowing down, and it will, not, and it will do its best to continue to best itself again and again moving ahead. Healthy competition from Apple is welcome and is required for innovation. I have faith that Microsoft will still be growing just as rapidly Thank you for watching.